So I'm going to change it up a little bit today. We're going to have an international flavor of sight words draw pictures. So we're going to have some words that are different languages. So we're just going to mix in some different things, but they're all going to be in English as well. So you're going to learn two words instead of just one. We're going to look at the list of words. We're going to draw the objects and we're going to make a story from the words and the pictures. So today I thought we would start with auntie, which is I, 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 and sister, Hamana, birthday, lost, sing, party, cake, late, uh, four, it's number four, and candy, which is dulce. So that you can use both of these words or even the international world word, then um, in your story, then you get bonus points. We want to use these, draw out of these very simple shapes. So circles, squares, rectangles, and triangles. So Ayi means auntie in Chinese. So you guys have all learned a new word today, auntie. So in your story, so in this story, let's draw auntie who's going to be a Chinese person. Okay. All right, let's draw a circle for the head. What shape we use for the body? Rectangle. Okay, sounds good. All right, what about for the arms and legs? Can you make them out of shape? Can you make them into a shape? What shape can they be? Sounds good. Okay, so I use here. We're using her rectangles for arms, legs. What about for her hands and feet? What shape should we use there? Yeah, a circle. Okay, sounds good. All right, let's draw. Let's talk, draw her eyes and her nose and her mouth. Let's talk about how we can also draw somebody who's Asian. So a shape that I like to use for Asian people is curve up, and it's like a half a lemon. And this is just a symbol. You can also just use circles. You know, you can use either. It doesn't really matter. So, and you can also use dots as well. So in this case, since I, I want, I'm gonna use these kind of shape eyes. Curve on top. And line on the bottom. Let's see, let's see. How should we draw the nose? What kind of shape can we use for the nose? Backwards, oh, that's good. What about for the mouth? Like that maybe so we can maybe we can draw straight here like, like three straight lines great we can curve we can do these kind of lines okay how do we draw how do we draw the neck Do you want to have her wear pants or should we draw, draw a skirt? Okay. And what shape can we draw the skirt with? The circle? Yeah, that's good. Okay, so let's draw the circle there. And we can erase inside. Okay, let's work on her shirt. Should we give her a, a collar to her shirt? Okay. And what kind of shape can we use there? Circle, that sounds good. Um, should we do short sleeves or long sleeves? Short sleeves, okay. All right, I'm just gonna erase the stuff on the inside. You wanna put anything in her shirt, like any patterns or? What kind of pattern do you wanna draw? Dots and lines, okay, sounds good. Do maybe some dots. You want to draw some fingers? How do we draw the fingers? Ovals. And we have five fingers, right? One, two, three, four, five. 
Okay, so for hair, let me get let me give you guys a tip for hair, especially with um, black hair, but all sorts of hair. You can do the shiny part. So I like to do these curved lines, these jaggy lines for the shiny part. And then I will fill in the rest. This makes it look like shiny hair. Maybe Auntie's coming to um, to sister Hermana's birthday party. Maybe she, that could be a story. All right. So, what's the first shape we should draw for sister? Okay. And what's the next shape? Yep. Yeah. Okay. And the difference between adults and kids are adults have bigger bodies and bigger heads. Okay. Okay. What's next? Okay. And what do you want to draw after that? Yeah. What shape do we use for arms and legs? Rectangles. Good job. Okay. How should we draw the feet and hands? Ovals. Okay. And what shape should we use for the eyes? Yeah, okay. So we can do circles and dots. What about the nose? We can do we can do a curve line, we can do like a triangle-like shape, we can do a backwards L. Okay. See the L. All right, and then how should we draw the mouth? Curved line, okay. So you can do a curved line, but you can also do two curved lines, which is fine. How do you want to style her hair? What kind of haircut should we give her? Curvy, okay. Long hair or short hair? Long hair, okay. You can have curvy long hair. So you can, so we can use curvy lines. This hair, I like to do the same thing actually. I like to have, you know how we did that uh, trick with hair where you have the shiny part? And then I like to put some more curves here. You wanna work on drawing some details of her clothes? Okay. Should she have pants on or a skirt or what kind of bottom does she have? Okay. Maybe we can add some pockets, yeah? How do you how do you draw to pockets? How do we indicate pockets? Yeah, exactly. We can add some pockets there. What do you want to do for a shirt? Oh, flower in the middle. Cool. Okay. Let's... Short sleeves or long sleeves? Long, okay. There's long sleeves there. Okay, nice stuff in the middle. Yeah, always. So she might be saying, Auntie, party's over here. She might say, I eat the party's over here. Do you know which language uh, her mana is from? Yep, Spanish. So this is in Chinese. And this is in Spanish. Awesome. Okay, we got to move a little faster now. How do we make this a party? You guys want to draw a cake? Okay, bottom rectangle, cake here. Got it. Okay, what's next? Okay, like this. Okay, a real, oh, this is a big old cake, huh? <laughs> awesome, so this is a layer cake, I like it. All right, let's do three here. And then you want to draw the little flame? How do you draw the flame? So you can draw a circle with a triangle on top. That's a good idea. You can do that. You can also do a squiggly line. You can do two squiggly lines like this, right? So both are good ideas. You can also even do a combination of the two. 
you can draw that little you can do a line for that you know the candle part the you know, the part that you light and then you can put uh you can put a line there and then you can put the curve line around it so there's lots of different ways you can draw a little fire Okay. This could be like those, what do you call them? Sprinkles? Should we put it on a, on a plate or on a platter? What shape do we use for the pilot? Oval, okay. Wow, this is a really big cake. I wish I had a cake that big when I was growing up. <laughs> All right, so you said you want to draw streamers? How do we draw streamers? Okay, so we could draw a bunch of squiggly lines. All right, so how do we draw these party blowers? So we have a rectangle here. And then what do we do at the end? Yeah, we can put this spiral in the front if it's not blowing yet. But she can be, we can have her blowing a party spiral. All right, cool. Uh, so I think we got party, we got cake. Let's draw some candies, some dulce. All right, so what's the first shape for the big shape for the, the lollipop? Circle, okay, and then what? And then what, what do we do in the middle? Yeah. You can, so you can do a lot of different things. You can do a spiral. Sometimes they um, sometimes they have a little thing inside. Let's draw one last thing. How do we draw balloons? Yes. And then what? Yeah. And there's something that's kind of like here, like the lollipop. Yep. There's a triangle there. And then there's one last detail I like to add. Is, Balloons are kind of shiny, right? That's right. Good job. Okay, we're all done. Wasn't that fun? And wasn't that simple and easy? All right, so if you like that video, please hit the like button and hit the subscribe button so you won't miss out on any of our videos. We make videos every single week. And we have a special step-by-step -step guide for you in the link below. So go ahead and click the link below and download it, and we'll see you next time at Creativity School.